Hello everyone. I can't, don't know, if, wait, do I have this? It seems like this is not in landscape mode. So let me figure out how to do that. Hmm. Let's see here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, I'm not for sure what I'm doing wrong here. I thought that this was set up to go. Um, as landscape, but it doesn't seem like it is. Let's see here. Oh, okay, so it was working in landscape mode. Okay. Because it didn't look like landscape mode when I was do like looking through. Sorry about that, you guys. Still learning. Still trying to get used to this. I've never actually done a Facebook Live, so this is the first time that I've ever done one. Let me get this all straightened up here for everyone. I'm sorry about this. Working on it. All right. So everybody's good. You can see in landscape mode. Does not look landscape mode on my phone. It's weird. So I will try to, uh, you know, go forward, I guess. So anyway, first I want to introduce myself. My name is Ricky. I've been making cards for about six to seven years now. And um, yeah, I was asked if I wanted to join the team and I said yes. So I thought today that I would uh, play with a few of the first things that I received from Missing Stamps. And this was before I was on the team. This is, uh, I don't, I mean, it's been a while since I've had these products, but I purchased the Alice in Wonderland bundle and that's what we're going to play with today. Um, I hope the idea that I have works out because I did not pre-make this card uh, before I um, started this live. So we're going to see how this works. So let me see. Can I turn off the comments on the phone here so I do not have to look at them? Not for sure. All right. Anyway, here we go. All right. So... We are going to be using this stamp set today. It is the um, Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's just Alice. It looks like it's the name. We're going to be using that. We are also going to be using the Keyhole Masking um, Stencil Set. And we are also going to be using the... Um, I don't know the name of this. I don't see it on the stencil. But it's this little swirly dwirly thing. So we're going to be using that. We're going to be using some Copic markers. We're going to be using some um, oxide inks. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is, let me see, how do I see the comments on my iPad? I don't want to hide the comments, but I don't know how to see them. So anyway, all right, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and use a card panel here. It is cut at four by five and a quarter because I want it to be smaller than um, the card base. And we're gonna do a little masking here. Um, I don't know how to see my comments on my iPad. I would really love to see them. There we go. Um, all right, so here we go. So my idea is with this card is to make a keyhole um, on the card. And so what we're going to do is the first thing I want to do is I want to lay down where I want this keyhole to be because what I want to accomplish here is to make this look like a door. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask this off with some temporary adhesive here. And I think 
And I want it to be about right here. I want it to be a little bit off. So about right here is where I want it to be. Okay. All right, so we have that on the cardstock. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some ink blending here. And we are first gonna start off with walnut stain. And we're just gonna do a little bit of ink blending here. This ink pad is a little dry, you guys. I need to get a refill for it, but um, I always forget to do it when I make an order. So we're just gonna go around the keyhole here uh, with this color here, Walnut Stain. Here we go. I wish I could see the comments, but I'm not seeing, um, I can't, they won't stay up on my iPad. I'm not for sure why, but anyway. Um, I will try to review them and try to talk with you guys um, as I'm doing this. I hope you can see the card. I hope everything's in focus. So anyway, so, and the reason I have this stamp set is I believe it was Oliver on um, Instagram had made a card with this set. And I was like, I freaking have to have that. I need to know where you got it. And then he told me and I purchased it like five seconds later. All right, so we are now gonna use Ground Espresso. So we're gonna make this a little darker. Okay, so I'm not alone. They always disappear. Okay, good. We're just gonna go around here. And it's gonna get a little crazy here in a second. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm not, I promise. All right, so you guys see that I have this all inked up along the sides here. So now what I'm gonna do, and I know this looks and sounds scary, but I'm gonna take this ink pad to this paper and I'm gonna swipe it down on it because I want this to look like wood grain. And hopefully it works. Um, so here we go. We're just gonna take this ink pad, swipe, 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 swipe again, keep swiping until it looks like wood. We're gonna try to get some harsh lines out of this so it doesn't look so fake. And I think this looks pretty good, you guys. Looks like wood to me. What do you guys think? I'll take a look at the comments here. Um, yeah, they did. Yeah, on my iPad, it is kind of like weird. Um, so here we go. I kind of have like this wood situation going on here, you guys. And so that's going to be a door. So let me just clean up this little area real quick because we're going to do some more ink blending here in a minute. Let's clean this area up. We'll go ahead and take this off. Oh, I made a mistake already, you guys. This is actually tearing the paper because I pressed down too hard, but we're gonna try to salvage it. We'll see how this works out. It ripped the paper a little bit and I have a bunch of ink along here. Oi, all right, so we're gonna make it do. We're gonna see how it works out. If not, we'll just start over. Not that big of a deal. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna take this mask, and hopefully this works, and I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna tape it down. I'll tape this down here. 
There we go. Then we are going to take this. And you're going to place it here. And there might be an easier way to do this, but oh well. This is how we learn, right? So we're going to take some more masking tape. Actually, you know what? I lied here. What we're going to do is we are going to spray this with some pixie spray or yeah, pixie spray this stuff so that it stays on the paper. Uh, this does not look good, you guys. Let's take this adhesive off. We're going to try to make this work because I'm actually going to put something on top of this. So the ripped paper. Oh, hey, you guys, look at this. You know what? Oh, Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. Let's see here. Um... You know what? We'll just start over. We're gonna start it over. Let me wash my hands off. Story of my life. Okay. I will cut this down after I'm done. And let's see, how are we going to do this? Da, 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 da. Let's do this part first. We'll try it the other way around. So I want this around here. Card making, you guys, never perfect, really, is it? <laughs> this is some for real crafting right here. Never, you know, it's never like it is in the videos. Never. All right, so we'll try it this way first, and then we'll go back to the wood, and we'll see how that works. So basically here, all I'm going to do is take some black ink here. And I'm going to do some ink blending in this to do some black and white stripes. Because I want it to look like there's something inside the keyhole. So we're just going to use some black ink. Yeah, everyone thinks it's perfect. It never is. I have had so many cards go into file 13, it's not even funny. Uh, my friend Melinda, who is also uh, watching right now, we do a bunch of FaceTime crafting. And there's been many times where we're just like, mm, no, this isn't going to work. And you guys are probably seeing that my stencil is not very clean here because one day I decided to use some stencil paste and I did not immediately go wash it off. So then it kind of got stuck onto the stencil and I need to try to get that off. It'd probably be better just to buy a new one actually, but. All right, so we have this ink blended. And what I might do is dry it a little bit before I actually decide to touch anything. All right. All right. Ooh, I'm afraid to touch it. All right, so I got a little bit of ink on the white paper, but that's okay because we are going to try the technique again of putting the um, ink pad to paper. And hopefully this doesn't get too sticky. Let me wash this off just to be sure. I, want, I don't want to rip the paper again if I can help it. this off really good. You guys, I wish I had a sink in my craft room. 
that would be lovely and nice, but <laughs> file 13, haven't heard that one before. Um, it's also called the circular file. Um, yeah. All right, so we're gonna try this again, but we're gonna try for it not to be so close um, to the edges, so. Okay. Um, all right. So we will go back to Walnut Stain. And I'll cut this down to four by five and a quarter when I'm done. Um, let's see, I'm trying to look at the comments here to see if... Uh, <laughs> my dad uses the file 13 all the time. <laughs> So one thing that I want to work on for uh, Missing Stamps is to get more people over to their YouTube channel so we can do YouTube Lives. So you guys, if you aren't subscribed, make sure that you go over there. And so we can do Lives over there as well. All right. So that's Walnut Stain. Let's do a little bit of Ground Espresso and then we'll drag it on here and we'll see how well that goes. Hopefully it's not a hot mess, but we can't always promise that, can we? I just need to be a little bit more careful around the edges, I think. And maybe what I'll do is blend a little bit of it out before I lift the keyhole or the mask. Yay, thank you for subscribing, Melinda. You're awesome. All right, so let's try this again, you guys. Hopefully it's not a hot mess. Try to make this look like some wood by going direct to paper. I think this is looking better already. Okay. All right, looks like wood. Let's give that a second to dry. We'll clean this up. Every time I hear this noise, it makes me think of a cartoon. I don't know why, but it seems like I've heard it in a cartoon before. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do here, just to be sure there's no globs of ink, I'm just gonna go around this here and just go ahead and smooth all this out just to make sure there's no globs of ink when I lift this up. Um, I'll try to get a little bit in the crevice there so that, all right. Let's cross our fingers, you guys. Let's see if this works. Although the keyhole is just now realized it's a little crooked, but I think we'll be okay. We'll survive. All right. That's better than, you know, I was going to be. All right. Oh yeah, SpongeBob, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, so we have this done. I'm gonna cut this at uh, four by five and a quarter really quick. Um, I do want the keyhole to be off center. I did not want it to be crooked, but you know what? Hopefully it turns into a happy mistake. All right, 
So now that we have that on there, I'm gonna go ahead and place this onto um, a black border here that I've already cut. This is, I don't know you guys, I'm not good at measurements. It's a little bit bigger than what this is. <laughs> I'm so bad at measurements. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this glued down so we can have the mat done. Hopefully I get this straight. Oh, I see some random brown there that I wanna to try to get blended in so that if I touch this, it doesn't do fingerprints. And it's on black, so it should be okay. All right. Y'all, I can't believe it. I'm pretty proud of myself. I actually got that on straight the first time. And I already messed up, you guys, because I wanted to... Ugh! I wanted to do some... Can I pull this off? Can I pull it off? Yes, okay. So I wanted this to look more like a door, so we are going to do some... scoring here just to make it look a little bit like a door panel. Um, we'll do it here. Maybe. We'll do one here. I need a better tool that's a little bit too dull. There we go. You guys may not be able to see this on camera, but I'm just scoring this to kind of make it, make it look like wood paneling. And then I'm just gonna go this way And I'm not really measuring where this is going. I'm just kind of choosing a spot in. Going with it. All right. So I don't know if you can see this, but it is kind of got some blocks to it to kind of make it look like a door. Um, I hope you can see it. Um, all right, so let's glue this bad boy down again. Or bad girl, or whatever. It could be anything it wants to be. Just as long as it looks like a door. <laughs> all right. Hopefully I can get this even again. It'd be cool if I can make it look like there's knots in the wood, but you know, let's let's not get crazy. All right, so this part is done. And then we'll go ahead and put it on the pan the card panel or the base. And then it's on to Alice coloring her. Okay, you guys, so we have the base done. It's looking pretty good here. And now we're gonna go ahead and start doing some Copic coloring. Hopefully this goes pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get up, pull out the Misty here. Let's go ahead and get a piece of paper.
So we're gonna be coloring two Alice's here. We are gonna be doing the one that's where she's facing away. And we're also gonna be the one doing the one where she's tumbling. All right, and we're just gonna take some Copic friendly ink here. Go ahead and get this stamped out. Let's put the pin in the glue before it gets ridiculous and not able to get glue out of it. All right, that looks good. Now I'm gonna be using some very light yellow colors for her hair. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna heat set this a little bit because I want it to be dry. So sorry if this is loud. Okay. And if you don't know this, yellow is one of the hardest colors to do Copa coloring with without the ink smearing. So I'm gonna do my best. Is it close enough for you guys to be able to see the coloring? Um, if you can let me know, please do so that I can make sure you can see it. Probably zoom in a little more. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, um, leaving, if you leave the pen out of the glue, the best thing you can do is take off the top and boil it. And then once the glue is soft, you can push it through and then it's done. So, all right. So it looks like I've blown this up enough for you guys. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and color her dress. So we'll go ahead and start that. And in, in no way am I a professional colorist here, you guys. So I'm not one of those people that know like light sources and all that stuff. That's not my jam. I tend not to really stress over that um, because it just causes me stress and I don't want to have to think. I just want to color and, you know, have fun. So basically what I do is I just I'm taking the darkest color here, just going around and then I'll take the next lightest color and we'll flick up this way. And we'll flick down to try to join the two colors together. And then I'll take my next lightest color. And then we'll go up this way. Come down here. And then, so that looks pretty good. I might go in and just add a little bit more dark just to give it a little bit of, just a little bit of shadow. Nothing like crazy because, there we go. Alrighty, so then we'll do the same thing for her top because her dress is blue and her apron is white. So we're just gonna do the same thing here And just kind of, you know, still not an expert, but you put you kind of put the darker stuff around where her hair lays. Um, and then go from there. There we 
go. Then we'll take the next to the lightest color. There. And then we'll take the lightest color and finish that up. All right, so there's her dress. For her apron, it's white, but because we don't have white markers, you know, and we don't want it to be stark white, I am gonna use just this N1 here. Um, it's just a neutral gray. We're gonna color it in. And then what we're gonna do is take the colorless blender and then just take a little bit of the gray out. The colorless blender, blender is just zero. And then we're just gonna rub some of this out just by dabbing it. And it will make it a little bit lighter gray so it kind of looks like an off-white, I guess, I would say. And it might take a couple tries going through to take out the gray, but it's doing pretty good. It's disappearing pretty well. So we'll just let that go there. Um, let's see here. I am missing a marker, so let me just get this out real quick. All right, so we're gonna do her headband black. Ooh, super small. We'll go ahead and do this one over here since it's just. There we go. And we're also gonna do her stockings black and white. So we'll just go ahead and color those in. And our shoes are going to be black as well. Hopefully this set hasn't been used too much and I'm not doing an idea that someone else has done because um, that would be kind of boring for you guys, right? All right, so we got our shoes. Awesome. Now we're gonna do our hair. Basically, we're gonna do the same concept that we just did with the blue. We're just gonna take the darkest yellow and come from the top and through the bottom. You want to try to do in the same direction as the curve of her hair. Whoops. This is the darkest color, actually. So we'll just go over top of this. here. Just go around the edges. And then we'll take the lighter color and finish this off. This is where you kind of have to be careful with the black because it can um, bleed sometimes, but it looks like we're doing pretty good. This is also her hair. And let's go back and just put a little bit more dark in here. All right, there we go. All right, and because this is Alice in Wonderland, she could be anybody she wants to be. I am going to do her as a person of color. So we'll just go ahead and... 
I know one of my browns here are a little dry, so I hope it gets us through. <laughs> And this is the dry marker, hopefully it works. I need to get um, a refill, but I always forget to order it when I'm ordering stuff. So probably this weekend, I'll probably go to the um, Dick Blick and get one. All right, so the first Alice is done there. We are gonna do the exact same thing on the other Alice. Um, is this still recording? I hope so, because I got a little thing pop up. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. Let's take the darkest blue. Come out. Hopefully I'm still in frame, you guys. Let me know if I ever go out so that I know that I need to fix it. All right, there we go. Okay, still good. Coloring looks amazing. Thank you. All right, I'll take the next lightest color. And we're just gonna scoop down here. Scoop up this way, blend the colors together. Doesn't have to be super crazy. There we go. Then we'll take the lightest color and just fill that in. Alrighty, then we'll do the top of her dress. Alice in Wonderland is probably one of my favorite stories ever. I remember as a kid um, forcing my sister and I to dress up as Tweedledum and Tweedledee one year. And then one year um, I dressed up as the uh, Cheshire Cat. So it's pretty much one of my favorite things. Maybe this year I'll dress up as the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> that would be fun. All right, and now we are gonna do her apron. So we'll take this lightest gray here. We're just gonna color this. And I'm just using this one color. I'm not like blending any of this because we're just gonna take it out, kind of like bleach it. So all right. So then we'll just take the colorless blender. And we're just gonna go back on top of it to try to get some of it to go away. I could probably use the zero um, neutral gray, but I think I tried it before and it was just too light. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Of course, you could just leave it white if you want in, that would work too. Um, all right, so we'll let that sit there and let that marinate. And then we will do her hair. And 
And I keep grabbing the wrong color first. This is the darkest color. Oops, got a little bit on her face, it's okay. Then we'll take the lightest yellow and just fill in this, fill in the spaces here. And we might just add a little bit of, of the darker color back in here, because it kind of got lost in that. We're gonna put it around here too. You may not be able to see this on camera, but it is starting to smear a little bit. So I just have to be careful with that. And let me get some of this yellow off her face. I'm going to use the colorless blender and just take that out. All right, let's get our skin done, and then we will go to the next step. Is there a time limit on fa on Facebook Lives? I'm not for sure since I've never done one. I know there is on Instagram. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is actually fussy cut her out. Hopefully it does not take me forever. Probably should have cut one out before, but that's okay. All right. So we have our Alice's. They are done. Now we are gonna fussy cut. It's gonna be so boring. Um, there is a limit, but it's eight hours. Wow. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> I might do it for a good cause though. That might be something fun. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get Alice cut out here. I'm gonna try to do this without Messing her up. Now, I know when I bought this set, I don't believe there were dyes for it. And I'm not for sure if there is. I'm sure they will let you know in the chat room if there are dyes now. I probably could have used my scan and cut, actually, to do this. But I didn't think about that until, actually, I started cutting. So we are just going to fussy cut her out here. The key to fussy cutting is moving the paper, not the scissors. In case you didn't know, I'm pretty sure you guys probably knew that. See, almost cut off her leg there. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, it's not that bad to fussy cut, actually. There's not a lot of um, like detail that you have to get for her, so it's actually pretty easy.
Trying to make it a little less pointy at our feet here. There we go. All right, there's the first Alice. Let's go ahead and get the second one here. You guys, it's hard to be talkative when you're um, trying to fussy cut here. <laughs> Hello, everyone that's coming in. Thank you uh, for watching today. I appreciate it. Yeah, fussy cutting isn't bad until you get something that's like kind of like detailed and you need to, you know go around some wispy hair or something like that. That's just like, oh God, that's like, I got a little bit too close to her foot here. That's okay. So I will be on the Facebook page the third Thursday of every month. So I'm excited to be here with you guys and get to know a bunch of new people. I hope you'll join and then get other people to join the room too, or join the group too, so that they can also watch. This is where it gets a little tricky, you guys, because I need to get under her armpit here without cutting off her arm. Success. If you guys have any questions for me, you can ask, I'll look up, and if I see any, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Okay, so we have the Alice's done here. Now, so the idea is to have this Alice here looking in this giant keyhole and then seeing herself inside the keyhole like this. And we will do maybe this sentiment. If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. I think that's perfect. And let's see. We are gonna do some heat embossing. Hopefully this works out. Heat embossing can be tricky. The first thing we're gonna do actually, is before we do that, we just wanna make sure this is super dry. So we're gonna use the heat gun and just go over this. straight as we can. Whoa, look at that. I got it pretty straight the first time. Uh, the card is a little thick. I hope this doesn't smash too bad. 
we are gonna use some anti-static tool here to make sure that nothing sticks. And let me find an embossing ink pad. Let's see here. Actually, I want to rub this first. We'll just do this lightly. We don't want it to smash the letters. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. This is where it can make or break you, you guys. Let me zoom back out here. You guys pray for me. Here we go. Ah, yes. You guys, I don't know if you know this about me, but I hate, hate the texture of embossing powder. Cannot take it. I do not like it on my desk. I do not like it on my skin. I can feel it through my socks if it falls on the floor. Cannot handle it. It's one weird thing about me. I cannot do it. And it like freaks me out. Like I do like crazy faces. All right, let's get this heat embossed. All right, I already see something that did not come out very well. The L's on here, I didn't, um, because they are on this um, score line, didn't go on here very well. But that's okay, because we can use maybe like a white gel pen. We'll see if this will work. We'll just... There we go. I mean, it's not the best, but it'll work. All right, so now we're gonna take the Alice's, the Alice I, I don't know how you would say that. And then we're gonna pop some 3M foam tape on her and you guys, this card will be done. We can like chit chat a little bit if you guys want. If you want to ask me questions, get to know me a little bit more, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. You guys can find me over on Instagram by searching for Bromero Cards. You can find me on YouTube also by searching for Bromero Cards. If you haven't seen me over there, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would just, you know, give me a follow. We are just doing a little bit of foam tape here. Get it nice and covered. Maybe put a little couple pieces on her feet. My big old man hands. There we go. Stick her here. Yep, 
You guys, I don't think I did too bad considering I had to start over for my card, but I think the start over actually, you know, I got the results I wanted from the start over. Sometimes you gotta do it and put on your big boy pants, big girl pants and admit defeat and move forward. All right, there we goes. <laughs> there we goes. <laughs> there we go. That's the completed card. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let me know if you have any further questions. I'd be more than happy to talk a little bit. If you have any questions for me, um, that would be great. Um, I, like I said, I will be here every third Thursday of the month, seeing you guys here, making a card with you all that great stuff. Make sure you tell all your friends because I would love to have them here with us celebrating and making cards. Um, let me see here. Any questions? Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. You're going to see me do this. Put the stamps back without cleaning them. Don't do that. Do as I say, not as I do. And yeah, that's the completed card. I hope you guys like it, enjoyed it. Um, I will be posting this over on the YouTube channel so that people that weren't here can watch it. I will post it on my YouTube channel also, and I'll be posting a picture on Instagram soon. And when you guys see that, please like it and get it out there. And there we go. Let's see. This was an awesome first live. Can't wait for the next one. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys are so great. Um... Yay, I'm glad you guys are happy. I'm not as nervous. I was super nervous, of course, when I first jacked up the card. You know, that's just how it goes. And um, But you know what? We made it through together. That's what we're here for, to help each other out. And we did it. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this. I truly appreciate it. Um, I will see you guys in a month. And I'll see what I can come up with you guys for next time. So you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.